everybody. Welcome to our website. Uh, we've, you're looking at this website as a result of uh, seeing you at the farm show or an FFA convention. And uh, we're, just, we're glad that you're wanting to find out more about us and what we do. Uh, I'm Mike. I'm with, I'm with Fellowship and I do disaster relief coordinating and work with the farm shows as an area leader as well. Uh, we'd like to invite you to come be a part of, of helping with what we do. Some scripture I'd like to share with you today regarding uh, helping other people. Uh, in, in 1 Corinthians 10.31, So whether you eat or drink or what, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And Ecclesiastes 9.10 also tells us, Whatsoever your hand findeth do, do it with all your mind. Now, maybe you're wondering, what can I do? Well, we've already found the problems. We've, we've been to... Uh, a couple of areas that we're working in right now at uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana and Clay City, Kentucky. We also have uh, some need for uh, equipment operators down in Arkansas. Uh, they've had a lot of flooding, they've got a lot of dirt to move and, and uh, a lot of things that people are struggling with. Uh, and it only takes a few minutes to find a uh, need and, and what struggles are out there. If we would just open our eyes we would see uh, People struggling with various things, especially this last year, all around us. There are things everywhere, and you can come be a part of that. And that's what we're inviting you to do. If you look at our website, you'll see there's some things that we ask you to bring. Number one of those is to bring Jesus. Many doors have been opened through uh, disaster relief and helping people, and even opportunities to minister to people that I would never have that opportunity to do have been opened and opportunities given. So. You never know how you're going to be able to minister or witness, and it might just be uh, having a being a shoulder to cry on, or to uh, just to allow somebody to, to or listen to what somebody's dealing with. Uh, number two, we bring our gloves. So be ready to work and serve, and this is what opens up that opportunity to get to know people. As we build fence, as we uh, remove uh, dirt and mud, uh, clear out debris, uh, we're doing all kinds of different work, putting a uh, tarps on roofs, uh, cutting trees, any number of things that, that help people. And it's something, you don't have to have the skills and the understanding. Just, uh, I believe as the scripture tells us, there, there first needs to be a willing heart. It's a person that's ready to help. Uh, number three, we bring the farm. We're, we bring this down-home uh, attitude of neighbor helping neighbor, uh, one, one rural a person in a rural community helping other people in a rural community, but not leaving out anybody that has need. But I encourage you, uh, there, the Bible also tells us the, the harvest is ready, and even as I'm uh, driving up to, to do this video today, I see uh, wheat fields all across Illinois that are, are being harvested. But there's one thing that Jesus added to that, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. This is something that is necessary for us is joining together to make a difference in other people's lives. To, to go to a farm, to bring not only the farm, but I would encourage you, bring your family, bring your FFA chapter, bring your youth group or homeschool group, and, and come join with us as we take our resources and make it available for you to, uh, to uh, have a place to sleep, have a place to eat and cook and shower and get cleaned up, but a, a base camp somewhere away from home, we want to be there to make that connection and make it easy for you to help other people. If there's one thing that, that is our, our biggest hindrance is, is people knowing that these resources are here and those people coming to join with us and help. We need people just like you. Uh, I talked to a, a gentleman who was 72 years old this morning and he's willing to meet me and, and work together to do whatever we can to make a difference. And I want you to know that you can, but that difference may be you as well and your heart changing. So guys, come with us. Uh, see what we can do to join together. And, and our, our biggest problem has always been this, uh, having enough people to join together to make that difference. And as we work together, we have the resources that, that we're already set in place, the place to come to do the work. We have jobs waiting. I have farmers that are are waiting in uh, central, south central Kentucky to have fences built. So if you would come and just, just be a part of things, that could make the biggest difference. But also this, 
The biggest difference might be the change it makes in your heart. So sign up at the, on our website. Let us know who you are, what your uh, gifts are, how God's working in, in your life, and how we, that way we can learn how we can better connect each other to help those people that are in need. Guys, thank you all for watching.